Here we determine the vector valued function R of t without the initial condition as well as with the initial condition. So first uh, let's determine the R of t without the initial condition. Uh, suppose if R of t equals x of t i plus y of t j plus uh, z of t k. If uh, this is the vector valued function r of t, then its derivative r prime of t is equal to derivative of each of the components. That is, the derivative of x of t is uh, x prime of t times i plus derivative of y of t is y prime of t times j plus derivative of z of t is z prime of t times k. So this is the vector valued function, derivative of the vector valued function. Now these two quantities that is uh, given in equation 1 and if you consider this as equation 2, these two quantities represent the same thing that is the r prime of t. So which means we can equate the corresponding components and determine the x prime of t, y prime of t and z prime of t. So we can write down that as x prime of t this equals the component of i in equation 1 which is 2 minus 90 and similarly this y prime of t this is the component of j in equation 1 which is uh, 4t and also this z prime of t which is a k component in uh, equation 1 since there is no k component we can consider that it is 0 so we see that uh, z, z prime of t equals 0. Now to get the terms uh, x, uh, x of t, y of t and z of t, basically we have to consider this as a three equation. This is another equation, this is uh, another equation and this is another equation. We have to integrate each of this equation to get the corresponding terms. So let's do that. First, uh, let me consider this x prime of t. Let me copy this x prime of t and this equals uh, 2 minus 90. We integrate both sides and then we put dt here. Uh, integration of the derivative of the function, we will get the x prime of t will become x of t when we integrate this derivative of x of t. So on the left side, we get uh, x of t and here we can uh, simply apply the power rule. Uh, integration of 2, which is a constant is uh, 2t minus integration of 9 times of t. So we integrate the t using the power rule that is if we have x raised to the power of n integrate we use the formula as x raised to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1. So therefore integration of t is uh, t raised to the power of uh, 1 plus 1 which is 2 divided by the same number 2 and then we put the integration constant we will uh, we will collate all the integration constant and put it uh, when we write down the expression for r of t. Now let's find uh, y prime of t or y of t from using y prime of t. So we have y prime of t, this equals 4t. Once again, we integrate both sides like this. So integration of y prime of t will get uh, only the y of t. And this equals integration of 4t. So we put the 4 as it is, which is a constant and integrate only the t. So integration of t using the power rule of integration is uh, t raised to the power of 1 plus which is on, once again it is 2 divided by 2. This can be simplified as uh, this goes 2 times. So this is equal to 2t squared. So we found the value for y of t equals 2t squared. Now similarly we will find for uh, z prime of t. So I'm going to write down for z prime of t. So it is uh, 0. Now let's integrate both sides with respect to time. This will be z of t. And integration of 0 is basically a constant. Uh, I'm going to use this letter m for this uh, integrating constant. z of t is basically m. Now we can uh, write for r of t. So we know that uh, r of t, this equals x of t times of i plus o of t times of j plus z of t times of k plus uh, as I said before we put the integrating constant 
as c over here combining all the integrating constant so let's replace the value of x of t which we found here this is a uh, 2t minus 9t squared by 2 so r of t this equals uh, 2t minus of 9t squared over 2 times of i plus o of t which is basically 2t square so i'm going to put only 2t square times of j plus z of t which we found to be an, another constant so let's say this is m times of k plus c we can we can see that m is a constant and c is a integrating constant so this is the <laughs> expression for r of t which we we will now write out in component form that is uh, r of t this equal the first component is the x of t so if we put this as 2t minus of 9t squared divided by 2 we put this uh, bracket comma the next component is the y of t component so this is uh, 2t squared and the next component is the k component that is uh, m is the k component where it is uh, noted that m is constant and uh, c is the integrating constant plus we put this integrating constant c so this is the expression in terms of component form for r of t without using the initial condition we will now determine the r of t using the initial condition that is uh, r of 0 equals 2i plus 5k so let me copy that over here we are given that uh, r 0 this is equals uh, 2i plus 5k I'm going to uh, substitute this into this equation uh, so that we can determine the value of this uh, integrating constant c uh, which means I have to replace uh, all the uh, values of t as 0 so therefore this becomes uh, r of 0 equals uh, 2t that is uh, 2 times of 0 minus 9 times of uh, 0 squared divided by 2 times of i plus uh, 2 times of uh, 0 squared times of j plus mk plus c and uh, this quantity is 0 and this quantity is also 0 and we will substitute the value of r of 0 here so therefore this becomes 2i plus 5k and this side we have just uh, mk plus c so we can say that uh, the value of c equals 2i plus uh, 5k minus mk or else we can write down this as in factor form for k that is 2i plus 5 minus of m times of k so this is the expression for the value of c which we will substitute into the uh, this equation and write down in terms of the component form so therefore r of t this equals or else we can also substitute uh, in this equation which is uh, 2t minus 9t square by 2 this is for the first component the second component is uh, 2t square comma m plus the integrating constant is uh, 2i plus uh, 5 minus of m times of k I'm going to write down this in component form as i the i component is uh, 2 and the j component is 0 the k component is 5 minus of m this is for the integrating constant c now we can put this in simplified form by combining the corresponding components so we see that r of t this equals this term as plus this term will get added up so it becomes 2t minus of 9t squared by 2 plus 2 this is for the x of t and uh, also this 2t squared plus 0 which is uh, 2t squared comma we already have 5 uh, m plus uh, 5 minus of m so this uh, when you add these two we'll get only 5 and so this is the final expression for r of t using the given initial conditions and the first expression represents the component x of t 
this is uh, x of t. The second component represents the y of t. And the third component represents for z of t.